Ballarat is Victoria's largest inland city. It started back in 1838 when a squatter called William Ewell camped on the shores of the Black Swamp, now known as Lake Wendouri. Bala Arat was derived from the meaning resting or camping place, which gives us our name, Ballarat. The tour of the gold fields for 2013, we've got Katrin Garfoot with a three point lead over Ruth Corset. The girls started this year on the same team, they're now on separate teams for very obvious reasons. Garfoot wants to win, Corset wants to win, and they're not going to go up against each other in the same team. Of course I'm nervous, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I mean, so much can go wrong, but so much can go right as well. Not to bother about the yellow jersey today, but if it comes easy, I will take it. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous because I'm so close, uh, only three points behind, so um, looking forward to a really good tour. It's a good course, a um, little bit technical, a few tight turns, but um, yeah, um, the wind will play a big role as well, so I think it's going to be a hard crit. The girls are rolling through the start, getting their feet into the clubs, heading under that arch. Absolutely miserable conditions here today. Rained most of the race and very greasy through the corners. The race started off at a very fast pace. We saw Sarah Kent, the former world champion, getting to the front early, but unfortunately, first race back after 18 months, it wasn't to be her day. Yeah, there were a few attacks and um, I think because of the conditions, it did make it quite hard to get away. It was wet and windy and slippery. In the sprint it was really hard to get the pole in the back wheel. Um, it was tough. Ruth Corsett was very attentive in the second sprint today. She won that and she takes the time bonus after the second sprint. I was lucky to have my teammates um, lead me into the um, intermediate sprints and then um, lead me into the sprint at the end. Towards the end, the VIS cycling team took control of the bike race. We saw Chloe McConvell, Catherine Garfoot right to the front of affairs with Jessica Allen, their teammate, doing some mighty work for them. So as the race came towards the final, we saw a number of groups getting tailed off as the race got faster and faster towards the end. It was greasy conditions, but the ladies really picked up the pace. It was pretty scary, um, especially at finish straight when everyone tried to get in front and there was lots of pushing going on. Come on, Jersey. It's all right there. It looks like we have the three down with me from Chloe McConville and Ruth Corson. I am happy. I'm glad the stage saw, but it was pretty trying. At the end it got pretty hot, everyone wanted to be at the front, um, I'm glad that I could pull through. We're very happy with third, um, it was a hard race today and I think with the conditions being so windy and raining it made it tough. We're really looking forward to the team's time trial tomorrow, we've got a strong team so we'll see after that what happens. So at the end of day one, we have the National Road Series leader. Katrin Garfoot is in the yellow jersey, but she still has Ruth Corset snapping at her heels. So well done there to our winners.